prove that if x and y are even integers, then x plus y is also even. Let's go ahead and carefully work through the proof. So first of all, uh, this is an if-then statement. So it's an if p, then q statement. In other words, it's a p implies q statement. So in mathematics, whenever you have uh, a statement like this and you want to give what's called a direct proof, you assume p is true. So you assume p and then you show q is true. This is the most common method of proving things in mathematics. It's called a, a direct proof. So you assume the if part. So we assume this part here and then we have to show whatever is after the word then. So we have to show this part. So we get to assume this in our proof, and then we have to show this. All right, so before we do the proof, uh, let me recall the definition of what it means for an integer to be even. So an integer is even if it's a multiple of two. So what does that mean? So we say x is even. This is the same thing as saying if x is equal to, let's say, 2k for some integer k. So we don't know what k is, we just know that x is equal to 2 times that integer. Okay, so this goes both ways. This is called an, it's really an if and only if statement. I wrote if because this is the definition. Definitions always go both ways. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. So definition. So even though it says if, it does go both ways. So if x is even, then x equals 2k for some integer k. If x equals 2k for some integer k, then x is even. So that's what it means for an integer to be even. OK, let's do this proof. So we'll start by uh, writing down our assumption, our p. So suppose, suppose x and y are even integers. Okay, so that's our assumption for p. That's our p. So now we have to show x plus y is even. So most of the time in mathematics, proofs are what I like to, what I like, what I like to call a one-way proof. So there's only one thing you can do now, and that's to write down what it means for x and y to be even. So then you write, this means, well, this means, what does it mean for x to be even? This means x equals 2k for some integer k. So for some integer k. And it means that y equals to, now we can't use the same letter, right? We cannot guarantee. We just know that it is some integer. We can't guarantee it's the same one. So let's say y equals 2n for some integer n. Okay, so we've written down our hypothesis. We assumed x and y were even. We wrote down what it meant for x to be even. This is what it means for x to be even. And this is what it means for y to be even. Now we have to show x plus y is even. So the natural thing to do is to look at x plus y. So now you write down what x plus y is. So you typically say something like notice or note or then. Let's just say uh, observe. Let's be even fancier. <laughs> so observe uh, x plus y. So we write it down. Uh, and well, what is x plus y? Well, x is 2k and y is 2n. And so now uh, you say, okay, you want to show it's even. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to show that x plus y is 2 times some integer, right? That's what we need. That's the goal, right? This is the goal. This is where we are going, right? We need to show x plus y is 2 times some integer. So we're almost there. What we can do now is pull out the 2 and write this as k plus n. And now all you have to do is explain why k plus n is an integer. So let's do that. So where k plus n is an integer. And if you really wanted to explain it, I, what I like to do is I like to put it in parentheses here not, so it's not like overkill. 
So I'll say something like because the sum of integers is an integer. So because the sum of integers is an integer. So do you have to write this? Um, it just depends. Like if you're doing this for a class in school or something, your teacher or whatever may require that you explain this piece here. If you do, it's a good idea to like put it in parentheses. So it's kind of like a side note, you know, it's pretty obvious if you add two integers, you get an integer. So um, something that uh, may or may not be optional. So we have x plus y equals two times an integer. Okay, so that's precisely what it means uh, for x plus y to be even. So this means x plus y is even. And that's it. We've finished the proof. And typically when you finish a proof, um, you can finish it with uh, some type of symbol. Um, the old school way was QED. Okay. Uh, the modern way is a filled in box. I like to use a box with an X. That's just the way I do it. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, this is actually a really simple proof and uh, I, I kind of really elaborated a lot on it. Um, because it's really important to know how to write proofs in mathematics. Uh, and so hopefully if you're new to writing proofs, uh, this has been uh, helpful in some way. That's it.